Hi there everyone, I hope you are all doing great and as you may see in the title of this video, I am going to let you visit the studio in which I work with Phil of the Night Picture. So as you see, we do everything in one room only and it is divided in three parts. The first one, the one you know the best, it's the drum set of course. Then you have here the studio with the little coffee place and just behind you, you have the storage. So let's sit and let's talk about all of this. First of all, let's talk about my drums area. I have begun to rent this place since 2018 and it's allowed me to practice and work whenever I want or play and rehearse with my bands or recording some music. But the most important part is that it allowed me to have a lot of flexibility and freedom to produce some videos and improve my quality. It is very useful for us because we can always and constantly enhance our production. For example, at first here, all the walls were covered with these blue sound panels, which we were happy with. But then, we wanted to have our own visual style by adding this black curtain behind me at first. Then later, we continue this path by covering the side wall with black curtains. We also invested a lot of ourselves discovering and learning things, but also upgrading our light setup and our video gear to present to you the best quality content we are proud about today. We will release a dedicated review about all the gear we use as cameras, lenses, lights and accessories to shoot our cover later on the channel. But now, let's talk about the studio part. Let's talk about the studio now. First of all, I am thrilled to announce that I am officially launching my studio, Sunblast Studios, with a brand new website you can find down below. If you follow the link, you can discover all of the services in details I could provide you as an artist or as a band. Having this workstation allows us to be more creative by being able to start post-production right after the shoot, and all of this at our fingertips. Don't you worry, just as the future video about all the video gear we use, you will have a video about all the gear I use for music production. But now let's just talk about the storage area. I am not going to dwell on this last part. Obviously, it's not the most exciting one, but it is essential to have a place to store all the elements we do not need on a daily basis. And because I only have one room, it has to go somewhere. But I can show you all the stuff. We have here all the gear we use with my band Psynosis when we are rehearsing here. The cello, the two amps for my guitarist. Uh, here, just to check if someone is coming here to work with me. A display if we want to monitor our cameras. We have here at the tops all the bags and cases from all the accessories, the lights and the gimbal we use right now. We can continue and see some accessories, the other crown, some old triggers I don't use. At the bottom, we have all the cases, my drum cases, fly case, uh, all stacked together. Um, just there, we have old broken symbols or used symbols I just, uh, I'm just playing with when I'm rehearsing. And uh, just in case, an AC if it's burning hot in summer. So you just uh, checked with me all the most shameful part of the studio. <laughs> so here it is. And last but not least, a couch in front of the desk so that bandmates or clients can relax and chill listening to what I'm working on. On a more serious note, and to conclude this video, I have shown you the room in which we are working for several years now. And as I've told you, you will have all the videos about all the gear in details we are using to produce everything we do here. And if you like the content I am releasing on my YouTube channel, you can subscribe to it if you haven't already done so. You can also go check my social medias, just as Facebook or Instagram, on which I am releasing some spontaneous content. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.